US share markets increased last week and have now erased the losses seen in the wake of the Goldman Sachs lawsuit. Financial shares were up quite strongly as they beat market expectations in terms of their profit levels. While the US financial sector is likely to face further regulations, stability is starting to return and this will be another key milestone for the US economic recovery. Shares in Apple were also up last week. They announced profits which almost doubled and of course they do make the iPod, iPhone and the new iPad. They have also announced that they are expecting to release new extraordinary items. They also surpass Microsoft as the second largest stock on the S&P 500 index. The New Zealand dollar was up last week and on Monday morning was trading at 71.70 against the US dollar. At these levels it is really starting to eat into New Zealand beef farmer margins. This comes despite very strong prices in the US which last week soared to 180 US cents per pound. The supply story in the, in the US is still very weak. Slaughter is down on last year levels. Product and cold storage is down about 8% on last year levels. And export prices are looking pretty strong and this has meant that US beef companies are sending plenty of product overseas. This is all meaning that prices are still fairly strong on the wholesale market, but at the retail end of things, prices are still very weak. US consumers are still very price conscious. This has had an impact on US beef companies which are getting squeezed on margins.